Hey guys, what's going on? Devin here, hope you guys are having a good day so far, and welcome back to Fixing TMNT. Turtle power. Now last time we talked about the turtle's origin and how they were going in the right direction with it, but ultimately squandered its full potential. Well, today we have another victim of that case, specifically in what the film has subjected as the main character, Megan Fox as April O'Neil. Now, I want to make something perfectly clear. After seeing the film, and taking certain things into account, I actually think Megan Fox would have been a pretty interesting April O'Neil. No! Now before you bring out the pitchforks, let me explain. When you get down to it, Fox, bizarrely enough, kind of mirrors April in a way. She's tough, outgoing, but outspoken at times, and now genuinely wants to be taken seriously. And if given better direction, I think she actually could have pulled it off. But sadly, we are dealing with the person who made people not take her seriously to begin with, so it's pretty safe to assume that that wasn't going to be the case here. But regardless of Fox's performance, the character of April herself really didn't come across as someone I truly cared for, despite how many times the story tried to make her be so. So, what would have made April a more compelling character? Well, adding what we have set with our new origin, here's how I think we should have been introduced to April. We would cut to 16 years later, where April is working as a reporter for Channel 6 News, where, like in the original version, she's stuck doing these stupid events that nobody cares about, and thus nobody tends to want to take her seriously when she wants to get into reporting more serious matters, like the rising Foot Clan activity that has been plaguing the city for a while now, whom now she also thinks is linked to her father's murder. That immediately gives conflict to April and a reason for us to care about her character's arc through the story and why she wants to report on the foot so much, especially knowing the backstory and what her father's connections were. Also, this gives some explanation as to why she's a reporter to begin with. To investigate, to expose lies through media, which, as we all know, is pretty powerful today, but that's besides the point. Also, if they wanted to make April's character a little bit more sympathetic, they shouldn't have been giving April all these leads or evidence to help her. I get that they want to help move the story along, but from a character standpoint, it makes the other characters around her seem dumb. So giving her no evidence at all to go off of makes her look more sympathetically pathetic at her job instead of giving Bernadette a picture that is clearly something. This is nothing, O'Neil. What is this is nothing. <sighs> Actually, while we're on the subject of the Channel 6 news team, let's talk about Vernon Fenwick for a quick second. This is pretty much Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool all over again. An actor perfectly casted in a role that is taken in a completely different direction than it should have. Will Arnett is a perfect fit to play Vernon, and it really irritated me that they made him the complete opposite of what people liked about the character to begin with. If they wanted to resemble the character a bit more, then maybe they could have made him just as outgoing as April, but maybe a tad douchier about it. Heck, they could still have him hit on April just to hammer in that egotistical jackass side of his personality. But no, instead he has resorted to April's sidekick, when in reality it should be April being the sidekick to the real main character. The Turtles! <laughs> Their names are in the damn title, and yet, just like what Bay did with Transformers, they're resorted to being supporting characters instead of the leading protagonists. Hollywood seems to be having a hard time just letting the CGI characters be the stars of their own movie instead of resorting to just having them around when there's an action sequence. And this is my biggest problem with the film. The Turtles have had a massive amount of character development through the years, and even though the film displays that aspect several times, it's not the main focus, when it clearly should be. Show us how they connect as brothers, show us how they learn from one another, and more importantly, show us why we should care about them. I love the Turtles dearly, but I think it's high time that they moved into the limelight of their own film. And Fox, if your performance doesn't improve by the next film, you can take a hike. So with that concludes part 2 of Fixing TMNT. Again, if you guys agree or disagree with my opinions, then please let me know in the comment section below, and of course like and share this video with your friends. Next time, we take a look at one of the film's biggest shortcomings and how it could have worked to its advantage. But until then, be sure to like Shadow Shoveler Productions on Facebook and follow me on Twitter at Shadow Shoveler. And until then, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Depot's out.